2017. Mm -hmm. Hope you all had a wonderful new year. I can't believe we're already in 2017. It's crazy. And um, I am back with Jelfa today. Hi, Jelfa. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, so something that I have like this thing that we all see on the TV and I go through it as well is New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. And the number one on our New Year's resolution is join a gym, eat healthier. And what's happened, you join the gym and by the time March, from April comes along, haven't gone to the gym, the membership is still sitting there and you're back to eating really poorly. Absolutely. How do you maintain a routine that you can stick to? Absolutely. So, you know, uh, statistically, only 8% of the population actually goes through with their resolution. <laughs> I'm not, I'm that actually, is, I think it's a lot higher than I would have imagined. 8% and by January 15th, right. most people have like dropped out. Oh, so it's a lot sooner than January. Yes, oh my God, yes. that's mad. It like about 15 days. And so, you know, I tell people like a resolution is, it's almost like you're convincing yourself that you should be right. doing something. Right. But ask yourself like, do you really want to? Yeah. You know? And if yeah. so, why? I think when you ha when you dig deep and you find right. like a good why, right. you actually stick to your resolution right. or your, your goal. Right. But the right. best way to make sure you're doing this all year long is to set up small habits. Right. Small routines right. that by the end of the year you have, um, you know, you, you've achieved something great. Right. So, you know, instead of saying, I'm gonna go to the gym one hour, three, four times a week, mm. what if you say, I'm gonna wake up 10 minutes early, right. and I'm gonna stretch. Really small yes. goals. Very small goals, because what that does is it trains your brain to say, right. yes I can, yes I can, right. and then over time, you're you increasing and challenge you, challenging right. yourself. Or you're, you're just gonna feel so good that you're like, I can do 30, come on. You know? Right, right, right. And, and then, is, sorry, and isn't it true that sort of when you, um, when you have to, when you start something, you need like, was it a few weeks or was it eight weeks or something like that? Set a habit. Right, set a habit. So it used to be 21 days. 21 days. That is okay. no longer true. Sure. I'm eight weeks. Yeah. That's not um, <laughs> It's now to set a, to rewire your right. brain, it's 66 days. 60, what? Yes. So I have to put this up for basically then the eight weeks, which is basically what I was saying, two months. Yes. Oh my god, um, that is a long time. And so, yeah, and so that's why it helps doing your, like very small things. Right. Because it's training your brain to actually just get up in the morning. Right. Or do something right before you go to bed. You know, right. whatever that is for right. you. Right, right. And so, I guess, so like, here's the thing with figuring out whether you have to wake up, like you're saying, wake up 10 minutes early. Mm -hmm. So, do you do that for a week then? You know, it's, it, or do you do that for 10 days? How do you break it down so that you don't then get overly well with planning it out because I am a planner so you do I it every day you just do it every day you do it every day okay. and, and maybe weekends you can give yourself right. a break but then commit to yourself that for 10 minutes you're either going to go for a walk Got you're going to stretch you're going to do some squats yeah whatever that is right but for 10 minutes every day commit that right. to yourself for 66 days right. and how do you do this with food because you know you can sort of start with like I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to have all my healthy vegetables mm. and then like, they go bad in the fridge. Then they go back in the fridge. Yes. And something that I do is I'm, I'm going to go to the store, and I do this specifically with yogurt. I don't know why. I go, I buy yogurt, and I buy, the, you know, maybe like a French vanilla flavor. I love it. Eat it two days, and then it just sits in my fridge for three months. So it's finally like, yeah, it's way past the expiration date. Can't eat this, gonna throw it. Do you so, buy big portions of it? I do, but I, I do the same with the small. It's, I, I don't know if other people have that same problem, but it's the same thing with small. So I'm, I'm sure people have that one thing, you know, with mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna buy carrots, but just the expiration date is probably a little yeah, bit Yeah, so like, I, I always tell people, like, be honest with yourself about right. what you really eat. Right. Because A, you're wasting it, you're wasting yeah. your money, and, right. and we don't, we never want to waste food. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. Um, so, be honest with yourself, but also plan, right? Like, right. if you're, if you say, I'm gonna have, side of vegetables with at least one meal every day. Right. So, you know, I hate it when people are like, oh, I had a salad for dinner, and it's like, if you can, even if you're satisfied, good for you. Right. That sounds awful to me. I would, I would cry if someone Thank you, that's the only person. Yeah, you know, but like, have a salad, a side, a nice, hefty side salad, right. and then have something, like a, a, a good meal with protein right. and, and some good carbs. Right. Um, right. But if you're, you know, and then, Plan out those veggies for the week. Right, right. And right. then do it again Sunday. Right. And if you have like three, four recipes that you can rotate every yeah. week, 
it, that's really the trick. If you don't try to do something different every week, because then you get exhausted of cooking. Right. Whereas this, you just get into the habit of cooking it. And yeah. Night. Find a few oh, things that, that you like. Right. Right. And right, stick right. to it. Right. And I think like one thing you said, like get a side salad. So I am not a big salad person. I am vegetarian, but I'm, I'm one of those like Indian vegetarians where we feel we don't eat salad, and salad is sort of just like just chopped onions basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. I, so for me, I think salad is, I'm, I, I'm not a rabbit. Like, okay. why am I eating this meat? So how do you incorporate, you know, eating those healthy vegetables? Because cooking it sometimes does kill a little bit of the nutrition and things like that. Yeah. So how do you sort of trick your mind or convince yourself? Like, do I just put in a bit of hummus? Like, how do I make that happen? So what I do is, like, if you're eating pasta, mm -hmm. I will saute um, a lot of garlic and onion, right. but also carrots and spinach and right. blend it all together. Yeah. And the sauce. So find ways to hide those veggies. Got it. Um, or with, uh, if I make pesto, right. I'll add a lot of avocado and parsley. Really? And, and pesto? Yes. Oh, and wow. it's delicious. And find a way to hide those greens if you don't like them. Okay. Um, and also, you know, there's really no wrong way to eat vegetables. There's right. a lot of theories about it and, you know, there's some science behind it. But yeah. if you, like, this is the time of year where you want to eat your uh, root vegetable. Right. So the squashes and the sweet potatoes right. and the pumpkins. And right. So, you know, nature always gives us what it wants to eat. Us to eat. eat. That's great. Each time of the year. Right. So eat what's in season. And the way you know what's in season is whatever is cheaper at the grocery store. Really? Yes. It's that simple. Yeah, it's really that whatever is right. cheaper. Right. And so buy that and cook it and, and um, you know, just stick to that. Find right. a few recipes that you like. And, and just so that I'm, I'm wondering, what is in season for January when it comes to fruits and veggies? Um, so uh, all the root vegetables, uh -huh. carrots, parsnips, um, the squashes, spaghetti squash, right. um, a, a kale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that's yeah. that's really interesting. Um, I'm going to try this new routine. Yeah, give it a uh, shot. Hopefully this will work, and we will be back next month, mm -hmm. and we should have more fun nutritional information. Have a good January. Bye. Bye.